Hey traders, welcome back to another daily profit and loss recap video. Today is Monday, September 25th. I just finished up trading for the morning and I locked in $558 in profits trading one stock. And in this video, we're going to break down these trades in the stock RNAZ, talk about my entries, talk about my exits, as well as my thought process behind the trades so that hopefully you can take something from my trading and apply it to your own. If you frequently watch these videos, I didn't post any on Thursday or Friday of last week, and that's just because I didn't do any trading on those days. The market has been very slow, and I've been trying to have a little bit more of a quality over quantity approach to my trading, especially in these market conditions. So with that being said, today we had some opportunities set up this morning in pre-market. If we take a look at the gappers that were happening this morning in the pre-market session, there were a few stocks that were kind of stealing the show. Those were RNAZ, which was up at the time about 64% with volume of about 4.89 million shares. And then we had BPTS, which was up about 47% at the time, trading about 5.67 million shares. So all of that being said, those were two of my top washes this morning going into the market open for a potential gap and go. And the opening range breakout level for RNAZ was $1.53. All right, so if we zoom in here to the market open, we can see there was a very strong trend going up into that market open. We then get ourselves an opening range breakout level of $1.53. Now this was a tricky stock to trade all morning long because of the fact that it was very frequently halted. If we take a look here at the scanner stream, this is streamed to all of our members in the market master group with all of these different scans for all of these different trade setups. One of them down here in the bottom left hand corner is going to be for trading halts and for the time that they resume as well. And if we scroll through here, we can see that RNAZ was halted quite a few times throughout the morning session. And uh, that does make the stock very difficult to trade, but it also does a lot of times provide trading opportunities because those halts often happen when there is significant momentum coming into the stock. All right, so with all of that being said, we can see after trading resumed there from the first halt, it gapped up a little bit, started to pull back down into that opening range breakout level. And at the time I was watching the tape very closely, which is the level two and the time in sales. And once it started to break underneath that opening range breakout level, as well as that 150 level, it started to get bought up very quickly. Dip buyers started to show up and there was a ton of demand that started to pick back up into the stock. So right at the time when I noticed that, I posted in the group that RNAZ, the dip under 150 was bought up very quickly. That was a bullish sign. And we can see pretty much immediately, just a few minutes later, um, it was pushing up towards that high of day once again, and it was halted again for volatility. So I bought in to a small position once it started to reclaim that 150 level. I had an average price of about $1.61 on this trade. And I had a total of 3,135 shares. I was trying to build into a starter position of about 5,000 shares, but I only got a partial fill on some of my orders. And I knew that on this trade, I was going to be risking underneath this low of $1.48. So if it started to make a lower low and it started to kind of reverse into a downtrend, I was going to sell my shares and cut losses on this trade, but it did hold gains pretty well, pushed up into that high a day once again, got halted, gapped down a little bit, curled right back up, halted once again into that high. And then once we get this quick breakout here to new highs, that is where I locked in my profit. So I ended up with $558 in profits on that trade. And I'm sure seeing the chart, a lot of you are going to realize that I kind of fumbled this trade pretty bad. Um, shoulda, coulda, woulda in hindsight been a lot more patient with this and made a much larger profit. But I will say that one thing that I say time and time again is that I personally try to avoid trading halts. I think this kind of stems from my early on trading career when I was new to trading. I found myself many times chasing stocks into the highs and then I would get stuck in a trading halt. It would gap down and I would take a big loss on the trade. And even though I'm obviously a much better trader now, I have better entries and I'm managing my risk much better. Um, that does still stick with me a little bit. And because of that, I try to avoid trading stocks that are very frequently halted. Uh, so once I locked in those profits, I decided to just avoid it for the rest of the day. And we can see that it ended up ramping all the way up into the threes. Right now it's currently halted again at a price of $3.04. So there was definitely a lot of money to be made there, but I also wanna compare RNAZ to the chart of MLGO, which was a big mover last week on Friday. Um, we can see price action in the early morning session here. 
is very similar to that of RNAZ. Strong trend all throughout pre-market. Starts to squeeze up once the market opens. We get a few trading halts along the way. We have this massive spike up to nearly $10 per share. And then we can see that pretty much all afternoon from that point on, it sells off, fades to new lows. And today, on Monday, we get a gap down to new lows as well. Um, on top of that, if we take a look at the daily chart for RNAZ, we can see that pretty much every time it gaps up or every time it has a big spike to the upside, it is very weak and it does fail to hold on to those gains, comes straight back down. And that is kind of a red flag for me. So those are the stocks that I try to avoid chasing. And I know it sounds like I'm kind of just justifying my lack of patience with this trade, but those were kind of my thoughts behind getting out of this trade pretty quickly and not looking to rebuy into any highs. There were definitely some traders here in the group that were a little bit more patient with this stock than I was, and that made some decent profits on it as well. NYC, for example, locked in $240 in profits with RNAZ. Andy L, I believe, has been in this trade for a while at this point. Um, trading this stock pretty well, it seems to be that they are just moving up the stop loss every time it gets halted. That's definitely a good way to let this run in your favor as much as you possibly can, but it is important when you're doing that to make sure you realize that if the stock starts to reverse down and it gets halted on a move down, there is a chance that it could then gap underneath your stop loss price, and then that's not going to trigger your stop loss and you can hold on to a big loss from that level. That being said, as of right now, everything seems to be going very well for the stock and it seems to be working in the favor of Andy L. Um, we also had Jor95 who locked in some profits and met their daily goal trading RNAZ. So yeah, these types of moves in the stock market have been few and far between. So it's great to see our traders capitalizing on these as well. And uh, that was how I decided to trade this stock today. Again, locking in $558 in profits. Hopefully you found some value in this video from me recapping this trade. And if you did, please make sure to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you want to hear about these stocks that I'm trading in real time, as well as work with our team of traders, get access to our day trade and swing trade alerts, our detailed trade plans, our live custom scanner streams, and so on and so forth. All of that can be found in the Market Master Group. There's going to be a link down below in the description for you to get signed up. Anyway, thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed and good luck with your trading.